Welcome back to the May bank holiday is finally upon us and with it the start of summer. Yes, yeah, so if you're planning on having a tipple over the weekend with friends and family, we've got some great suggestions. Wine guru Leslie Williams is here to tell us more. Good morning to you, Leslie. How good are morning, you? Good morning, Leslie. Wine guru, no less. Some great no options pressure. today, Chris. No pressure. First. No pressure um, yeah. Right, so we've got three We've got three wines and one de-alcoholized. Uh, a juice, a wine-inspired juice drink, I would kind of... Okay. Like. It, is, it, it was a wine, but they've removed the alcohol. We'll get okay. to that later. Okay. More interestingly, though, I think I've got a nice Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio is the white grape that everyone is drinking. To be honest, I don't like a lot of it. It's too thin, it's too kind of bland. It, it, it's, they've stripped all the flavour out of it. This is a reserva from Chile, which just has a bit more character, just a bit more fullness. Would you like to try? I love Whoa, some. I know this are. wine well. We're great so, friends. Um, <laughs> well, just, I just think it's got a bit more body. Thank um, you. Than, I like it. Than, it's very than, light. Than, yeah, you're right. It's still light. But sometimes people want light. Exactly. And that's absolutely great. I just want a bit more flavour. Okay. Casillero del Diablo. Yes, Devil's Cellar. Yeah. The Devil's Cellar. I've been Cellar. Nice to tell you about the third wine. Um, yeah, so we drink more Chilean wine in Ireland than any other wine. We drink about 28% really? uh, of all the wine we drink in Ireland is from Chile. You're joking. Wow. The nearest to that is at about 15, 16, and that's Australia. And below that, then, is Spain, France, and around the same. So wow. what should we be getting on well, the nose first? Why we like so much Chilean is fruit. It, we, so in this, you're going to get some sort of peachy, like, yes. light sort of pear, lemon fruit. We do go for the citrusy type uh, wine I, I, in Ireland. We do. Uh, we like our Sauvignon Blancs. And our, but having said that, we are the mm. largest, we are the fifth largest drinker of Albarino in the world. Mm. So, you know, yeah. uh, which is... Which has been know, a big trend. Which is, yeah, which is quite peachy. And, and that's where this falls that's in, is that sort of slightly nice. peachy or rounder it's flavour. Yeah. Um, I'm still shocked at those stats that Chile is number one. It, I would have thought it would be Italy or France no, somewhere close no. to home. I mean, France would have been 70% back in the 70s, wow. but uh, in the last decade, so. Chile has just jumped ahead. Mm. And it's that consistency. It's fruit and consistency. And, and it's also why, you know, affordable, I suppose, And it's really isn't affordable, it? yeah. And you kind of know what you're going to get. Mm. And it's, you know, and we've learned off the grape varieties. We've learned off our Pinot Grigio, our Cabernet, our yeah. Merlot, and so that it, it's easy to, to remember, you know. France struggles a bit with that, you know. Um, that's a really so. good start. But it's very nice. good. What yeah, price point is that? Uh, that's about 12. 12, okay. Very good. What's next? And it sometimes reduces. Now, uh, no, Malbec. No, we, um, we wouldn't be as big in Argentina, but what Argentinian wine we do is all Malbec. And there's a reason. It's just dense and textured, but it's also from this big arid desert Thank plain. You. Um, right up on the high Andes Mountains. You're talking a thousand feet above, a thousand meters above sea level in places. Like it's really, sorry, a thousand feet above sea level. Um, so it's really, really high up. So um, it's, as, it's as exposed as exposed yes, to be. Really. You're yeah, sharing you, your words already. Yeah, <laughs> but you, you get. Um, <laughs> one sip. Exactly. He's gone. But warm days, cold nights, right? So right. warm days to bring up the fruit and the sugar, and then cold nights drop it back down, and that gives you your acidity, uh, and that gives you the freshness. So this has got red fruits, trivento, three winds. There's three winds. Wind is really important in wine just in terms of blowing off funk off the grapes and just keeping um, melodies and things away. Wind is important and there's three winds, the Zonda, the Polar and the, I forget the other one, the Sestina um, that just kind of keep, the, just helps the grapes keep fresh. Is there a but dryness was, to that? There is and there's also a bit of oak in it which you're okay. possibly getting. It was six months mm. in French oak. And it's, so there's density but there's also a lightness of touch I feel. I, I mean it's, it's dry, yeah, but there's a bit of fruit. I mean yes. I think there's a good there's, solid there's bang There's a full of fruit. flavour as yeah. well. And Malbec is the butcher's favourite wine. I've done some work with <clears> the Butchers associations and every butcher I ever meet just wants to talk about Malbec. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, because yeah. it's meat, meat and Malbec. But likewise, yeah. Malbec fans yeah. will always search on a menu for the Malbec it's true. and they to go with their steak. Yeah. Go, yeah. And it's great. And it's originally a French grape from Cahors, but we don't really drink Cahors much anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a little bit of around, but really Argentina has stolen the um, has stolen the the image of the grape, if you will. You know. So. And then number three. Now this is a big dark brooder, um, and this is more for your kind of barbecues and so on. Um, this is also Thank from Casa del Diablo. And uh, given that it's the devil's cellar, they age it for six months, six weeks, and six days. Oh! <laughs> throw a bit of tension into the thing. Well, You're you not going to have some No, no, you have okay. this one. Right, so this is just, you'll get the oak in this. Now, they, have, they haven't given the grape varieties. Um, I think that's because it changes every year. They want to keep that. But my reckoning is, is a bit of syrup in this um, and some uh, the softer grapes in this. I don't think it's Cabernet. Um, I could be wrong on that, of course. But mostly you're getting that big, bang, so smoky rich. oak. It's much yeah. darker in yeah. colour, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. And I think, again, that they're kind of going dark. Devil cellar. And it fits dark. the brand. Yeah, it kind of fits the whole very thing. Very rich, know? very and smooth. They actually call it dark red. So Lovely and, they, and smooth. Yeah. 
Um, and that density, and I can get that smoky character from it, which... Um, I mean, you mentioned you know. barbecues, obviously, mm. summertime. I would have thought this would be lovely in winter, but well, that too. fire... The warm... That too. Yeah. 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 That too. Well, yeah, obviously, that too. And it, yeah. So, it so any season, basically. Yeah, given the unpredictability <laughs> of Irish weather, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's true. But it's, let's face it, it's never that warm in Ireland, really, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Filling, though, let's say. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's a density, and that's yeah. what I like about the three of these. There's, there's and the a, price you know, point on that one? Again, uh, that's, no, that's a bit more, that's a bit 15. Um, so these two are 12, and that's about 15. And they're very kind of in supermarkets, they're, they're widely enough now, available. They're, mm. they're not hard to find. And then finally... Yeah. So finally, now look, you know, we absolutely should be encouraging non-alcoholic options. Um, I'm in favour of juices and cordials and so on, but people do like the bottle of mm. wine. Yes. Yeah. Um, so this is from um, Torres, and it's a really solid... Uh, they, they make a, a, a Syrah Grenache wine, or Garnacha, um, and then they de-alcoholise it by... Just removing the, the alcohol, basically. There's ways okay. of doing it. You're too. still getting the yeah, flavour. Yeah, so so, but I do like about it, it, it does have some density. The problem with non alcoholic wines sometimes, they're very. They're, they lack body because the alcohol gives body to the wine. And so sometimes they replace that with sugars and things, whereas this isn't. I think this has just got a nice sort of. Decent bit of juicy it's, fruit. It's much sweeter, though, yeah, isn't it? It is sweeter. Yeah. yeah. I think I, you know. I'd actually recommend chilling it down. <clears> you know? Okay. I think yeah. tumblers as well. I just feel it can, yeah. there's a you it's know more Spanish informality thing to do. Kind of thing, but know? isn't it lovely that we now have something to offer people if yeah. rather than the sparkling Absolutely. drinks? You yeah. know, who wants to sit there with the Seven Up having their meal exactly. with everyone yeah. else's? And there's a hu huge move to this towards non-alcoholic uh, drinks. Too, yeah. and so on. The soft drinks um, are too you know, sweet. Well, at social events for pregnant women as well, it's lovely to feel part of the party. You know. Yeah. Yeah, plenty of people. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you, Leslie. Right, we got right, talking to s'more brownies as a Saturday morning treat earlier on. Here's how you can make them.